So 2020-2021 League 2 season is over. Or is it? It's the small matter of the playoffs to be decided. We've got the first legs coming at you for the Sammies coming up next. Back once again with the prediction show today. We take a look at the old 2020 2021 League Two semi finals in the playoffs. First legs, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe and get your bangers today with all things League Two related. That bit always related. We got it all here. Ooh, it's under one Ruski. That's right, of course. Yes, of course. Cambridge, Shelton and Bolton got themselves promoted the easy way, or not the easy way, the traditional way. But of course, four teams remain to get them shot a, a chance as a shot at a League One team next season. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Of course, a big, big shout out to the VIPs. I'm talking about the Patreons. Thank you for your continued support behind the scenes. I really do appreciate it. I'm not just saying it. I really do appreciate it. And if anyone else is out there that wants to join that band of men, men and women, check it out. Link down below, patreon.com forward slash overseas. But anyway, also check out the Discord. It's free to enter. Of course, it's a chance for you to hang out with me and the other guys, talk about football, Euros, transfers, anything you like, FA Cup, whatever you want to talk about, get in amongst it uh, down below. But anyway, let's get cracking then. Of course, a bit of a disclaimer as well. We're not going to reveal the winner of the League 2 prediction. It's still technically open. Of course, you can predict for the playoffs. Uh, there's still mathematically five points on the offering here to see who comes out on top as the champion. It might already be decided. I don't know. But we're not going to talk about it now. We're going to bring you bang up to date for the next one in the next legs, of course, uh, because the, the data I'm going to give you now it's going to be pretty much the same uh, when we come back around for the second leg so there's no point in me regurgitating that uh, so let's get cracking in and have a look at the first semi-final it is a Newport County up against them vegans of course who were live 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 on the old tremendous watch along at uh, the New York uh, the New York Forest Green lot uh, tremendous uh, enthusiasm I really did appreciate it. they actually won me over uh, so I'll be rooting for the vegans on this time around against the Newport County uh, but of course my eyes and my heart is with Morecambe so at one stage they're going to tumble but anyway let's talk about these two cents. Uh, they've finished the 17th time since 2010. It's been five wins apiece and seven draws. Uh, of course, Newport County's biggest win over Forest Green was a 4 0 win back in the day. Of course, 5 0 win, though, uh, for Forest Green uh, Rovers over Newport County in those last uh, 17 matches. In total, Newport County scored 23 times uh, against Forest Green, uh, where they've actually returned with a 25 goal return. Uh, picking up a 1.47 goals per match ratio over Newport County. They picked up a 1.3 uh, goals per game uh, ratio heading into this. They both come into this uh, with a 67% form uh, rate, uh, which means there's three wins and two draws, of course, heading into this. The, v uh, the Vegans come into this on back-to-back -back wins, I believe. As for uh, Newport County, they come into this unbeaten in the last four, I think. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. Uh, of course, Newport County haven't lost in the last five matches. Uh, they've also won the three in a row, uh, three in a row. Uh, and uh, Newport County's last home win against Forest Green was in 2010. So it's been it's been over 10 years since they beat them. Goodness gracious me. Uh, last home win. So they've been beating them on the road. Okay, let's take a look at this then. Of course, the last six, both home and away. Uh, it's actually been one win for Newport County, two wins for Forest Green, and three draws. Uh, of course, last time around in Newport County back in February is a 2 0 win for Forest Green. Josh Davidson on the score sheet with Jamie Mallet, uh, Jamie Matt on the score sheet as well. They also measured that at uh, Vegan Land, of course, was back in J uh, December 2020. It was a 1 1 draw with Tristan Abrahams on the score sheet for Newport County, Jamie Matt as well uh, back in the day. So, Newport County's last victory, just, just his last victory, was all the way back. Uh, it's actually 2019 at Forest Green uh, last season, of course. But, of course, the last six in Newport County smells all like Forest Green. Look at that. They've won uh, the past, uh, they've actually unbeaten the last six occasions, of course. Back-to-back uh, -back wins uh, for them, and they like scoring goals. They do like scoring goals. Goodness gracious me! The past four games as, as a total to what 11, 11, 11, 15, 15, 16, 17, 17 or 18 goals in, in, in the last four occasions between two sides, and it's not really much in favour for Newport County. Uh, of course, heading into this, take a look at the stats and figures then for you. Of course, Newport County coming in there, not a double-digit man in sight, but Scott Twine has been your, your revelation uh, for them, scoring six goals in 19 games, and 0.32 goal return for them. On the so Jimmy Matt's got himself 16 goals, double digit man, as does Aaron Collins with 10. Uh, of course, so no really, I'm not really, they're not really standing out to me. Carl Winchester, bloody supernatural guys here as well. Um, so yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really 
blown away by the statistics here uh, by either of two sides. There's no real standout superstar striker. But Jamie Matt's probably your best bet here uh, to get a, amongst the goals for Forest Green. Anyway, of course, let's take the home and away form here. Of course, Newport County winning uh, just, uh, well, they actually just lost once uh, the past uh, six home games. Heading into that one defeat was against Cambridge United, who, who did go up in the automatics. As for Forest Green, their away form is pretty shaky. Just one win in the past six games for them. That was his Oldham, uh, of course, on the 8th of May. Of course, the table looks like this as of right here, right now. Of course, it doesn't really change. It won't change anyway. Uh, they both finished on 73 points. Forest, uh, Forest Green finished in 6th. They just snuck in there on the last day. Uh, Newport County also finishing 5th as well, both on 73 points. Newport County's home form, losing 5 of the 23 matches. As for Forest Green, they picked up uh, just 7 defeats on the road as well. They picked up 36 points uh, for them, 44 points as well for Newport County. As of course, this is the journey. Uh, of course, Newport County were flying bloody high. They were top 2, top 2 or 3 for the good part of the season, eventually dipping out around about match day. What is it, number 26 or something like that? They dipped out to match day number 25. And then they looked like they weren't even going to make it, but they did smash to get their act together and pull themselves uh, back into shape into the final five or six games of the season. As for the vegans, also were doing a uh, pretty good roller coaster sort of season for them, up and down, up and down. They flirted with the, the automatics and they looked like they were home and hose as well for one stage, but again, dipping out last minute.com eventually settling for the playoffs. Again, not really scoring many goals though. Uh, so or, uh, there's not many there's not many individuals scoring the goals. A lot of players were scoring goals, but uh, it was more spread out, more of a team effort. So uh, they'll probably have to rely on that. As for the Booker's Dolls, 11 to 8 is your Newport County, 21 to 10 is your Forest Green, 11 to 5 is your draw on this one. Uh, for me, whoa, it smells like a draw. I think I'm going to go with a new new draw. There's not, I'm not really blown away with the statistics uh, either side. I just I just feel it's going to be a new new draw. Um, and it probably make, make up for a crack in second leg, if all honest with it. But of course, all eyes will be on this one for me. Where are you? There you are. Of course, Tramor Rovers against my tip and my, my little soft spot for Morecambe. They shouldn't be here, but they're bloody well here. Derek Adams has done a tremendous job. He could be on his way. He could be on, on, on to a new gig um, next season. Of course, Bradford City looking at him. A lot of other clubs will be looking at him. Of course, they were tipped for the drop 100%, but they've done something special this season. You know, hopefully, they could do a Barnsley. They could do a Leicester. They could do a bloody uh, whatever it is and go the distance. Uh, of course, they've finished on the nine times over the past few seasons ago back to 2006 wins six wins for Tramway just two for, for Morecambe and one draw uh, the biggest win for Morecambe over Tramway was just a 1-0 win as for Tramway they've recorded a 5-1 win over Morecambe over the years in total they scored 16 goals against Morecambe in those 9 matches uh, Morecambe returned with just 8 picking up a 0.89 goals again uh, goals per match return where, uh, as for Tramway they got 1.78 goals return however the one blessing for Morecambe is the form right now 83% form for them uh, picking up uh, 5 wins in the past 6 games only hiccup with 1 defeat in that as for Tramway they come into this a bit of ropey ropey form and they look pretty wobbly uh, and they've, they've, they've uh, I think they've, they've they've hit a rough patch at the wrong time it uh, could work for, in favour of Morecambe but of course this is a separate beast anyway they played each other a couple of times over the last six occasions been four wins of Tramier just one for Morecambe uh, one draw of course they played each other in a Tramier it was a one win for, tra for Morecambe back in October and then Phillips with a penalty giving Morecambe the win however uh, Tramier returned the favour of one win themselves back in January this season so it is evenly poised of course the last five though three wins for Tramier uh, two wins for Morecambe this is over in uh, Preston Park uh, um, so Morecambe have a reasonably okay record over the last five matches, picking up two wins. However, they are stretched uh, a good 13 years between the two. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, that's, that's that. Of course, the stats look like this. I really am a big fan of Carlos uh, Gomez Mendes. I think he's a tremendous player, and I would love uh, Rovers to sign him up. Uh, attacking winger plays on the right-hand side. Cole Stockton as well got himself double digits as well. Adam Phillips not too bad either. Aaron Wildig, not a bad little player. And Yannick Sonongo, also ex-Rover as well. John Sullivan, also ex-Rover, I believe, uh, back in the day. Uh, Bradley Lyons, well does you. Also, Rover on loan. Uh, Jonathan Slew, ex-rover. It's like the uh, mini rovers there. Stephen Andrew, ex-rover. Goodness gracious. They're all down there. Uh, of course, for uh, for Tramway, they got goal machine. Uh, James Vaughan, 18 goals. He's been out for the for the past few games with an injury. David Nutrient also got himself two goals as well. Just been released by Preston. Corey Taylor Blackett, uh, not much of a return there. James Spearing, also ex-rover. Stephen Payne, uh, not an ex-rover, but uh, you know, know him a little bit anyway. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, Vaughan's goals will be massive. Of course, heading into this, uh, Tramway's uh, home form has been okay. Actually, unbeaten in the last six games, picking up two wins and four draws to boot. As for Morecambe's away form, back-to-back -back wins, picking up uh, wins against Crimsley and also back-to-back clean sheets as well. Uh, so not too shabby for them heading into the form or the table looks like this. Of course, it would look like this. Anyway, Morecambe finishing fourth, unlucky for some. Uh, Bolton did win it on the last day to kind of leave them in uh, that playoff spot. Astro Tramier just making it on the skin of the teeth, really. Uh, their away form sucks with a negative goal difference on there. As for the home form, it is where it's all all at uh, for them. Uh, so it's going to be tight. Of course, Morecambe did finish with 78 points. Tramier did finish with 73. Of course, the journey... 
Of course, Morecambe's journey was pretty good. Starting off absolutely fantastic. Dipped a little bit, got their act together, started working it, working it, and they actually did flirt with the automatics again around about match day 31, but unfortunately they couldn't get back into it. And they could just, that one's Bolton when it just went on a rocket kind of form. As for Tramme, again, ropey kind of start, didn't really get their act together. Eventually they did, and they got into the, the, the playoffs, eventually got into the automatics, but they couldn't hold tight. Again, ultimately just hanging on, because if, if the season was another two weeks, they would be out of it uh, right here, right now. So, yeah. Morecambe, steady eddies. Can they get over the line? I really, really, really hope so. Of course, the book is all 75 for Tramia for this leg and this leg alone. Uh, of course, 90 to 10 for Morecambe. They are your underdogs for this one. 23 to 10 is your draw. Uh, for me, this one, I think it's going to be a draw. No, I think, uh, yeah, I've gone with the draw. I've gone with the 1 1 draw. Players sitting on the fence a little bit for this one. Let me know your picks. Of course, we do have a live action prediction league. Of course, we'll bring you back up to date with that in the second leg videos. Also, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon as well. Be sure to check those badges out. And also, check out the Discord as well. Wide open, free to enter there is a code somewhere put it in there open it and it, it, you can just hang out with me uh when we talk about football but anyway that's all i've got for you until then i'll see you soon for the next until then i am out